Mouse? You're all right, Squire. I don't care what they say down to the pub. I think you're a good man. <laughs> I heard you stuck up for me the other day. People I... say I'm not fit to shovel. <laughs> and you said I was, so thanks for that. Well, they were making fun of your different bill sizes. <laughs> was, was they? Yeah, they were. Well, I, I defended I'm... you. I said, just, hey, the guy was experimenting, showing us what not to do. I, um, <laughs> I heard the rumor and got out. I did hear that. How much do I owe you, Mouse? Uh, you're all right, Squire. You're all right. 50, 50, 50 grand is with the cows and the, uh, hey, get off my fence. And the uh, delivery fee, correct? Yeah, I'll send that yeah. to you. All right, then, Squire. What do, you, what do you think of my cows? I got chocolate cows and I got white milk cows. Do you, they, they're looking down flat. I like this pasture. Yeah, Grumpy and the boys. Did, Grumpy and the boys did a pretty good job building my cow pen and some sheds here for me. Yeah, you've done, it's, it's looking really nice. Yeah. And you got um, you've got bands up and everything. I'm having a look around, man. Yeah, help yourself. Just don't steal anything. Take me for. Oh, you're British. Bang out of order. <laughs> Could be worse. Could be Canadian. <laughs> Keep it between the mayo and the mustard. Why, why do people say that up there? That's, that's, that makes no I sense. Don't, I, I don't know. I don't know what that's all about. Very nice, man. Very nice. You've done a very nice job here. Well, it's all thanks to you and Grease Monkey for your logging and your bailing and your wind rowing and your. Yeah, all well, kinds that, of good stuff. Is that just a grass field up there? Yeah, I got I, yeah grass field for now. I don't know what to do. I did some uh, tree cutting here on the other side. I don't know what to do over there. Maybe put up a few little sheds or something. I haven't quite decided yet. Oh yeah, well, it's looking nice, mate. Looking nice. Better get back to mine, now. Eh? All right, we'll come back later on. I'll buy you a beer. Oh, nice one. Catch you later. See you, buddy. Is that, uh, is that I forgot his name. Is that Oily Primate coming? That's. Uh, I haven't seen I haven't seen him today. The oily pri oh the primate. I heard I heard he. Uh, Reese I, Gibbon. No, it's something I can't remember his name. I don't know. Not but I, I heard something down at the pub the other night that he was in there and got pretty tuned and was uh, mooning the patrons. <laughs> I wouldn't, wouldn't put me past him. So I don't know. I haven't I haven't heard anything after that. You might have to go down to the pub and hear the story. Yeah, he's probably on that chartreuse. That could be it. Take it easy, Mouse. Pretty bad, bad Tibetan monk, that, you know, it sounds you silly. See you later. Good day, my farming friends. Welcome to the frozen tundra across the pond, the island it is, Ebony Island. It is, ooh, crap, we're in the middle of December already. Holy buckets. Um, a lot has happened, and how am I going to get you caught up in all the shindigs that have been going on here? Let's see. You've seen, well, you pretty much saw everything up until Mouse, the good old Mouse, brought me 24 cows. I've got 12 chocolate milk cows, and I've got 12 2% milk cows. So, um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, you, everything's caught up. We did, we did the... Uh, See, the, the, the odd thing is is that I have, like, so many things recorded but not edited together. So bear with me here. But uh, since last time, since last time, we have Grumpy. Grumpy the boys came in. We have, uh, well, you know what? I'm going to hop in the Kubota. I bought a little Kubota side-by-side side here. Yep, I did. Yes, I did. And we'll take a little tour around the farm. Oh, it's a beautiful day. I love the snow. All right. What? They quit on me. Is it too damn cold out or what? Come on there, Kubota. A little Kubota side by side. I paid like 15,000 bucks for it. Not too shabby. But anyways, Mouse Brothers cows. We got 24 cows. Woohoo! We're rich. But actually, we're not rich. We are actually in the hole, my friends. We are in the hole. So, Grumpy the Boys came in. We put in a cattle shed. A robotic feeding cattle shed. Cost us, well, here, here. let me explain the money for you for one thing. Uh, $860,000 in the bank. We owe fifty-five thousand dollars to the grass dryer put in. We owe thirty-three thousand dollars in some sheds. We owe nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars in this cow shed to Grumpy that he built. We own twenty thousand dollars in landscaping. 
That's a total of one million fifty-eight thousand. Plus we owe mouse fifty thousand dollars for the cows. So that's uh, one million one hundred and eight thousand dollars that we owe. And then we put in uh, three other sheds for a total of ten, twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars. So one million one hundred and forty-eight thousand dollars is what we owe, and we got to pay that today. So we put in the cow shed here. The cow pasture looks good. Twenty-four cows over there. Oh, moo, moo, moo. And then we put in some bale sheds over here. So we have our, all our bales that were stacked up over there. We got moved over here. Our silage bales are moved over. We got some straw bales in there. And then we ended up putting in a grass dryer down over yonder. So we we'll put all the grass bales in here to make hay. So it's. Uh, Drying the grass and we'll make some hay. So that looks pretty good. Yeah, it, 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 I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy the way it worked out. What we did is, you know, we mowed it. We uh, forced it all this and then we mowed it all up. Grease monkey and mouse helped me mow it all up. We got it all baled. And then I came in and I did some extra logging. I did some extra logging over here. In the t oh, it looks cold. It is a little frigid outside. Mouse got so cold he left. But um, so I did some extra logging. So I have a trailer full of wood chips and that's the key. That's where the extra money is going to come from, is selling those wood chips. So I did a little extra here. Now, what I'm thinking is I've contemplated uh, putting in a pig pen. But my problem is, oh, I got a stump over there. Is that a stump? Oh, look at that. Oh, I got a little stump. Well, let's cut down this little stupid stump. I don't like little stumps in my grass field. No siree, Bob. We'll just, I, I carry my chainsaw in my pocket, so I always have it with. Um, you never know when you're going to need your chainsaw. Yep. So... Uh, pig pen, yes. But the ground is kind of undulated coming from the grass dryer this way. So I was thinking, so I logged some more, and I was maybe thinking about putting a pig pen down here in this neck of the woods is what I was kind of thinking about doing where it kind of flattens out here a little bit. But that would be kind of nice because then we can leave this space and that space. Oh, what's happening? A little flashy grass there. I think the, I think the uh, server is catching up to the snow or something like that. The twilight zone, man. That's a, that, This is a little freaky. That's a little freaky. Um, I don't like it at all. Do not like it. Oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. So anyways, so I'm saying that I'm going to keep this as kind of a grass field in between this area here. And there it goes again. And future development over yonder that way. So I think I'm going to keep it a grass field because we are going to need some grass. I need some grass for some silage. I need some grass to make some hay. So we're, we're, we're sitting pretty good there. Now this cow pen. Oh, this worked out pretty good. The cows are happy. The deer come in there and say hi to the cows. Yeah, it works pretty good. Look at that. I'm going to have chocolate milk for supper tonight. You betcha. You betcha. And it actually turned out pretty good because it kind of came up to the highway here. Grumpy and the boys did a, did a fantastic job. Hi, right dear. <clears throat> so, the fence kind of comes up into the highway. We got a little buffer of trees. I kind of like that. That works pretty good. There it goes again. A little flashy stuff. And then right along our shed. So, it's sitting pretty good. I, I'm, I'm happy with the way everything turned out. Now, <coughs> excuse me. What we did now next is we put the cow pen in there, put the grass dry in there, put some bill sheds in there. So what I was thinking about is I was um, thinking, okay, since we deforested and mowed to the north of the farm, what are we going to do with that area? And then I was thinking, I'm slowly getting more equipment. I got more stuff. I got trucks. I got trailers. I got some equipment. I need to have a little bit more storage because um, as, you, as, as you did see that we did buy a baler. We bought a baler. Um, I haven't bought a windmill, a baler, and a mower. So, we kind of started developing the other side here, over this way. And it gets really steep going back up to the highway. So I had Grumpy the boys just uh, refurbish some old sheds they brought in. And we have one shed there for some grass mowing equipment. And then we got um, this shed here with some trailers in. Does that look nice? I mean, they, they can refurbish um, old sheds and stuff. And then we have the big one over here where I've got some trucks in there. And the one Kubota is in there with the uh, wood chips. So I'm pretty happy. So we have spent a lot of money. Uh, yeah, we, we did buy the baler. We bought the mower. I had to buy that Ford tractor because the stupid Kubota wouldn't pull my uh, my baler. So that's sitting pretty good. I like it. Everything is turning out just fine. We have more development to do, but we need more money. We got the, uh, we have a little um, pebble, little stone patio here for our logging trailer, which I'm thinking about selling, and the um, grain auger there. And that would go back up to the highway. So we have another road coming in and out here. It's a little bumpy right here. Just a little bit bumpy there. I'm going to get that smoothed out, but we can take a little back way out to the highway. So, oh, I'm telling you, I'm happy with it. I am very, very happy with it. It's coming along pretty good. Our fields are perfect. We don't got to worry about that. 
We've got, um, the cows are good. I had to go buy some food and some mineral feed, so yeah. So here is the, uh, back up to the road. Isn't that pretty nice? Oh, I tell you what, the snow, the snow looks good, doesn't it? Mouse, he chickened out. He's he, the first snowflake he sized. And I'm out of here. I'm done. I'm out of here. I'm going to bed. So, the goose monkey and I are hanging about. So yeah, so that's the news from Lake Wobegon, where all the women are strong, the men are good looking, and the children are above average. So, we have more stuff to do, but... I think right now in the middle of December, we're sitting pretty good. And then we did put a little pathway in from um, this side, going around to the back of the house, along the uh, along the water, coming into the other side of the farm here. Oh, I'm telling you, yeah, yeah, it's going to work pretty good. It's going to work pretty good. And then, of course, we can either go up there or we can come this way. So we have more to do. But so far, my friends, it's starting to look like a farm, isn't it? This is better off than buying another farm. This is have it all in one location. So that's why I picked this land. We have plenty of forests, we have plenty of options to do stuff, and we can kind of go from there. Now, what I'm thinking about doing, <clears throat> I should check the sugar mill, because we do have the sugar mill, and we do have the sawmill with our, um, our planks and our sugar to be sold. But first things first, we owe $1,150,000 to Mouse. We owe him 50, we, the rest we owe to Grumpy for all the stuff. So we need to get that paid. I gotta go up down and I gotta do that. But Here's where the key's going to come in because I did do some more wood chipping over here. And then, of course, I did that little back corner over there. So, I have the trailer and the wood chipper. I still have those and I've still been paying for them. Oh, I think I have a bill like $30,000 down to the dealership, too. I got to get, 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 get paid. But, thankfully, the wood chips have come in handy and we have got some money. Plus, we have $300,000 that we still have the bank. So, what I want to do is shoot that deer up in the sky. Oh, uh, reindeer. I no, it's probably it's probably Dancer, Prancer, Rudolph, Comet, Glisten. Yeah, you wouldn't want to do that. So the supermarket needs some more wood chips for their uh, barbecue business. So I have the tractor still hooked up. I got wood chips inside. So I want to go up to the dealer, up to the supermarket, and I want to sell these fancy fancy wood chips. And then I am going to return the Brooks, the Brooks, and this ugly mouse-colored pink trailer. Yep. I'm going to return them back to the dealership, and uh, we can be done with that. Because <coughs> I think it, excuse me, holy crap, that was a winter Ebony Island mosquito. Oh, that's frost on there, too. Oh, it's terrible. I don't know what it is, but uh, I, I, I sincerely apologize. My voice lately has just has gone. The other thing I'm thinking about doing, I want to buy a bale fork for the uh, skid steer. I want to get that. So I'm going to sell the, uh, holy buckets. I'm going to sell the uh, stump grinder, I'm going to sell these two grapple forks, and I'm going to sell that thing. I think we're all done with that, and I probably will sell the logging trailer. There's a new Ford 8630. Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So, we will see how that comes about, but I think I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that equipment. I'm going to put the logging trailer up for sale. I don't need it no more, to be honest with you. I, I just don't need it. Um... I should have put this on the Ford, a little more horsepower. This this uh, Kubota has a hard time pulling this uh, trailer full of wood chips. But we'll take it down there. I, I, wood chips, I think they're just above... Oh, sorry about that Prius driving, but I think they're just above $1,500 for 100, for 1,000. Is it 100? No, 1,000 liters, that'd be right. I think, I think. But that, if we sell these wood chips, we should have enough money to pay off the bank loan pay off Grumpy, and pay off Mouse, and the dealership. So we should be completely debt free of everything. We'll be broke, we'll be broke my friends, but we will be 100% debt free. Alrighty, up here at the Grocer YK, we will drop off our wood chips. 860,000 in the bank. We'll see what we end up with. Oh, big bucks, no whammies. Big bucks. No whammies. Big bucks, no whammies? That was big bucks, no whammies. We made, uh, let's say eight. 815,000. Holy crap, we made $850,000 off wood chips. All right. So we got 1.6. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up to Mouse's. I'm going to drop him off a check for 50 grand. I'm going to go to the dealership, drop off a check for 30 grand. Yeah. Pay off debt, pay off the bank, and we'll see where we sit right after that. 
All right, we got all that paid. We got Grumpy paid, we got Mouse paid, we got the dealership paid. So 544,601 buckaroo is left in the El Baco. So minus the $300,000 loan, hey, we still have $244,000 in the bank. That is not bad, my friends. That is not bad. So now the plan would be, well, we don't have any field work to do until spring, so we're sitting pretty good. It's the middle of December. Our fields are perfect. We'll have some spring planting to do. So I'm kind of thinking maybe, just maybe, I could buy some more cows. We could, we could increase the herd, but then the problem is I'm going to run out of food because I don't have a whole heck of a lot. I was, I, I was fortunate enough that Grease Monkey gave me grass bales. And then I was fortunate enough that I had some logging to do so I could make some silage bales. We have that. But straw, we had straw from our two fields. So I don't know why, I don't know why it's, it's glistening like that. Um, all this snow coming down. Oh, crap. I'm, um, I'm out of space there. I've got, uh, <laughs> I've got all the tractors there. Where am I going to put this puppy? Well, we'll put this in the shed over here. I should, oh, crap. I need to get a, uh, a snowblower. That's what I gotta buy. I gotta buy a snowblower. Wouldn't that be nice? We'll just park it in here. I'll have to um, plug it in when it gets cold enough. Yep. Okay. So yeah. So maybe there's some more cows, but I'm a little concerned about um, our feed situation. Is what I'm concerned about. But before I forget, let's go in here to the Albanco app and let's um, let's repay all that. Oh, I tell you what, we worked hard. But we're very fortunate that we have some fine and outstanding people, Grease Monkey and Mouse, to help us out. Otherwise, we would never be where we are today. Absolute broccoli not. So, I've got silage. I've got some straw. I have hay in the hay dryer. You know, I wonder... I wonder... So, we only got 1998 liters, yeah. Look at this. This is taking frickin' forever. The way that this processing sugar is taken forever. We don't we don't have any planks. I'm not gonna worry about going up there. This thing in, oh no, we have fifty two hundred <coughs> in planks. Yeah, so that's like what? Five pallets? So you got five pallets of that. We've got Are they in five hundred pallets? I can't remember. So there's not a whole lot of pallets going on. But two forty four in the bank. Yeah, more cowlets would be an option, but then I have to buy have to buy some feed. So I don't think I have enough feed to last. You know what I'm saying? Man, it looks cold. Even the frost on the ground, the fuel tank over here has got frost on it. I mean, I'll tell you what, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty darn cool. So the only other option that we have is looking at the uh, land avail availability map. So those, yep, those need to be planted. That's already planted. Is all these grass fields up here? Right next to the orange wackadoodle. Man, look at all the stuff he's got. He, he really owns the whole ma damn map. He really does. He's got his own island. He's got the whole bank there. He's got this corner. He's got stuff down here. Yeah, he, he's... Um, so like 69. I could buy those two right off the bat. Those are both grass. I don't know. I have to ponder that. I didn't sell I didn't sell the logging trailer yet. I'm just gonna kinda curious to see what we're gonna get for that if I do sell that. Um, I don't need Okay, I'm gonna get fifteen hundred bucks for that, six three thousand bucks for that, so that's three thousand. I think I've got front loader tools. Fifty two hundred. So fifty two hundred there. And then the trailer. Oh wait. Where's the trailer? It'd be under logging, wouldn't it? 5,200. Oh, look at that. 34 for that, plus 16 is 50. 5,200 bucks I could get for selling all that stuff. <clears throat> I might call the dealership and have them come down and pick it up. Say, I might sell it to them. That wouldn't be too bad of a deal. But um, I thought about putting some other bins here too, but I don't know. I don't know. Let me ponder it. Well, it is uh, 9.57.
in the morning. I might go in for a early bacon sandwich and a can of water and kind of make a game plan. I got to figure out what to do next. More cows is kind of like up my alley here, but the problem is, you know, I'm going to look here. I keep interrupting myself, and I apologize for that. If I didn't want to put in pigs. Oh, God. I don't want 2,000 freaking pigs, do I? That's 400 grand. 164, 270 pigs. I mean, how many how many pigs do we eventually want to get to? But I could work to, to 400,000. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Something to think about. Well, anyways, I'm going to go and have a bit. Now it quit snowing. Ah, just quit snowing, just like that. Oh, it's snowing over there. Oh, it's snowing over there. Oh, it's not snowing on this side of the this side of the farm. That side of the farm is snowing. This side is not snowing. Oh, no, now it's snowing on this side. I think it's all going to catch up. Anyways, I'll fix my voice, eat, have some canned water, and I'll see you in a little bit. Mouse? Yeah. This is gonna take a while, my friend. <laughs> I know. I know, man. It's a little oh. more snow than we expected. You got a long ways to go to get to your house, man. I think I might be wasting my time. I, I think you should buy a snowblower. You think? Yeah. I like your beanie, though. That is cold, isn't it? Had to get changed. It's a nice blue color. Thank you. Look at that, your ankle deep there, man. Whoa, we got like, what, two feet of snow here? It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's stupid snow. Stupid. Uh, yo, know, I'd have paid the gritters in front of saying they were a bit extra just to come up here. <laughs> yeah, really? You want me to bring my snowblower up? Yes, please, if you would. That'd be fantastic. Okay, I'll be I right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Thank you very much, sir. That's a great big help. Thank Mouse. you very much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get myself one of them. Mouse, I think you should buy a snowblower. I, th I think I will. It's a lot better than that wheelbarrow I have. Yeah, but at least you can get into your driveway now. Thanks very much, sir. Okay. Cheers. Go buy one. I will. See you. Thank you. Thank you.
crap do we have some snow here at the end of December so I got myself a snow blower and I am doing some snow blowing here on the farm trying to get things cleaned up now it's kind of occurred to me and it's probably it's my fault and it, it's it's all my fault you can you can blame me it's my fault that I have been um, kind of just kind of <laughs> go going around in circles here and things may have kind of um, got messed up so what I want to do is go back and just recap just a little bit so I logged all that area made some money off the logging I don't I don't know if the, if the uh, time lapse showed that or not but we made a bunch of money off the logging I mean I think I had I went from like a hundred and eighty thousand something down to um, up to over a million so then we we've got all the equipment so we we, we got the farm situated we uh, made some money doing that now we're down to 28,000 I had some more money last time but here's what I did I ended up buying some land I ended up buying this parcel down here. oh crap that's the wrong button there man I ended up buying this area here 163 it's just a big pasture area right next to the um, the BGA none of these buildings are here I bought 164 68 69 and 73 I still want 174 175 because here's why I want to connect all of this so I want to build in a road from our cat from our cattle barn up into this area into here some of this is going to be grass some of this is going to be field and then I want to put in a pigsty down here so in order to do all that with the money I had in the bank I had to go borrow another hundred and ten thousand dollars so another hundred and ten thousand dollars in debt but I got twenty eight thousand dollars in the bank I have sugar to sell and I've got planks to sell I, I, I've got those two to sell but I'm thinking I'm just gonna let things build up a little bit I'm gonna I'm gonna let things get um, built up and I can blow both the planks and the sugar and I can go in and sell a bunch at one time so I don't kind of screw up the price now I think I have a road let's see okay that's coming from the house that goes over there I think I have a road going through here yeah I think I do we'll just snow plow this into the cattle barn so I apologize everything kind of just the, the reason I did this is I was just recording a bunch over several several days so I kind of got confused and I hope it clarifies it we weren't cheating or anything we sold a bunch of wood chips uh, we sold some sugar we sold that so we had some money built up we made big money in wood chips there is one thing I'm thinking about doing is why isn't my uh, there we go my snowblower wasn't rising up there mouse in his wheelbarrow and shovel he's got nothing on my snowblower holy buckets he's got nothing on my snowblower so oh crap I kind of my road went that way well I didn't kind of follow my road real well there did I um, so I think we're actually sitting pretty good and I don't know what else we have over the winter time oh which I was talking about the wood chip things um, back th this is jump out here back th that way where my uh, hay dryer ends there in that big open grass period grass uh, area I still have a bunch of logging wood trees that would connect um, well let's just go to the map here that would connect See, look, okay, here's my grass dryer. So this is all grass right up. If you can see my little mouse there, here, I'll zoom in. So that's all grass up to right about here. And from here on is trees. So I'm thinking I want to log all those trees out, put in a road. And then um, some of this, I don't know if I should make like two fields here, what I should do. But then like the pigsty would kind of be in here and have more grass, some more fields. That's kind of my thinking. So the trees that are still right in here would be to pay for, uh, pay off the debt, maybe get some equipment and kind of go from there, I'm thinking. I'm thinking that's what my plan is of attack, so to speak. Yeah, it's pretty good, but but it's kind of nice here in the wintertime. Holy crap, late December, it's cold out. There's more snow coming. Mouse and his wheelbarrow are going to be very busy. The uh, grease monkey, I haven't uh, seen him lately. I don't know if he's hiding around or Mouse is calling him the, uh, what's he calling him? The Greasy Gibbon. Yep, the Greasy Gibbon. So Grease Monkey is just getting more and more names as the, <laughs> the time goes on here. Greasy Gibbon, uh, Grease Monkey, Oily Primate. But yeah, it, it's it's all good. It's all good. So that pretty much takes care of my snow bones. So now I'm thinking I might um, I might go cut those trees down. We, we can drive over there. We'll just uh, lift the snowblower. We'll turn that off there. We'll take a quick gander over there. I do need to put some uh, straw into the uh, the mixing robot, and I got to get some hay out of my. Uh, I think I have some hay produced here. I think my grass dryer is working. Oh yeah, I got a. Uh, I got. Oh crap! Look at that. It, it turned all my grass into hay. Perfect. So that worked out nice. 
So we got that going for us. Now, um, yeah, I only snow blowed to here. So I'm thinking from here, well, let's just snow blow it. We'll just snow blow it. We'll just um, snow blow a uh, imaginary path where I want to go. Oh yeah, that worked pretty good. Holy crap, look at the snow. Oh, I do have a kind of a little, um, I do kind of have a little road in here. I gotta get those uh, markers. Those markers, I tell you where the heck you're going, you know? I can't remember where the road goes. Uh, maybe it just stops here. I thought maybe I... I don't know. There is kind of a path here. So, this would be my path along the grass field into those trees. And then eventually, I want to combine that into that area that I just bought. Is my thinking. So I can get... Did I buy... I think with some money I already bought a wood. Oh, I did! I did! I bought a, um, I bought a wood chipper, and I bought a trailer. I re I leased the ones that I was using, and I bought some. So we have that up at the dealership, which I got to go pick up. So then I might cut the rest of these trees down, and that would probably give us a good trailer load. So that would be some big income right there, and then we can um, develop that. That'd be enough to pay for a pigsty because they're expensive. I think the pigsty I want to put in is about four hundred thousand bucks. I think. Yeah. So. We have that to do. Yeah, this is where I kind of end. So, I'd want to get, I'd want to get all the way in there. I don't want to walk through the snow. I don't have my uh, snow boots on. All the way to that um, field, and then we can kind of cut all these trees down. Then we'll have plenty of room for grass, plenty of grass field, because we're gonna need we're gonna need silage. We're gonna need uh, hay. So I got a lot of grass to get. So I think that's kind of my plan. Now, the question is, I don't know when I'll see you next. It's winter time here. We're just going to have a bunch of snow and snow going on, and we don't have a whole lot of um, work to be done except do our logging and then sell our planks and our sugar. Let's just quickly check the... Uh, am I almost... I might almost be done with my wood planks. Oh, no, I still have $198,000 of trees to be processed into planks so i moved all the planks out of the spot so that's what that's going on there and our sugar we still have 869,000 liters of sugar plus the stuff in storage so i moved the sugar out of there so we're not really producing as much as i would like to it's not, it's not going real fast is what i'm trying to say so maybe i should just let enough produce and then i could lease a flatbed semi-trailer i could hook up the globe trotter to that and then we could just go sell a big semi-load that might be what I do. So it's December now. I'm thinking, when is uh, looking at the Jacinta B planting calendar? Oops, that's what I want here. So we're in December. So there's really nothing for December, January, and February. We could plant cotton in February. No, we're not planting cotton. Um, I do have the two big fields to plant. And if I get this new stuff. So basically, we have December, January, February. So we have three months here. Well, December is almost over with. So we have two months, and then we get into March, and then we can start getting our field work done and kind of go from there. I think that's a pretty good idea. Um, just kind of got to weigh it out here a little bit, but I think things kind of got confusing this <laughs> this episode here, and people might be shaking their head, well, how did he get all that money? But hopefully I hopefully the clips will, will, sh will show that we did the logging, we made some money, we bought a few things. We bought the uh, baler, bought a snowblower here. Um... I bought this Ford tractor because my Kubota would not pull my baler. So we did that. Yeah, so we got a bunch of stuff going on. But in the meantime, I think I'm just going to continue on some snowblowing. We're going to let time pass by. If anything happens, I will be sure to um, let you all know and show you all that. That would be okay. But um, cows are looking good. Cows are 100% healthy. We're producing some milk, producing some slurry. Like I said, i got to put some straw in there. I have plenty of, um, well... That's the only other question is, I only have 24 cows, but do I have enough straw and hay to last? Uh, oh, yeah. I should have enough to last for a little while, shouldn't I? I got plenty of silage. All the grass is in the hay dryer, and that's what I have left is straw bales. Yeah. So, I think we're looking pretty good. Sorry for the confusing. The, con the confusing? Sorry. Sorry for the uh, being a little bit confused there. Um, but hopefully you, you get it. You got all caught up, and we'll kind of go for that. But um, next time I see, I don't know. It, it could be into March. I think it it might be because, like I said, there's not a whole lot to do. But um, yeah, 
Anyways, we'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got caught up. Hope, hope everything makes sense. And I guess when I, uh, when I go through this, oh, quit walking. When I go through this, hopefully it will. But I think the last video we ended up, um, I was spraying that field. Yeah, so it was nice out. Now we got snow. But anyways, you guys all take care. Thanks for stopping. I sincerely appreciate that. Have a great, see, great weekend. Have a great weekend. Hope the week treated you well. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And I got snow in my barn. Huh. Keep them between the ditches, my friends. So long.